We are currently passing by the Isle of Last Words. We seem to be heading out to a fort. Uh, get ready to load cannons. If my calculations are seemingly correct, we are appearing to have been... Just want to point that out, Kalen. I know, I'm, I'm just trying to, trying to see if this is going to... Flame rounds, yeah. okay. I was kind of hoping it would give me mad game but I can work with flame rounds. <clears throat> yeah, no problem. I, I'm just saying, like, I'm sorry if I'm saying too much words. I mean, if that's what the game needs you, if that's what you need to do to work in the game, then no problem. Okay, it's telling me to turn uh, uh, right. It's a little more. Sharp right. On my mark. Head let's south. Let's grab those three, acid rounds as well. Two, one, mark. And then we'll put the. Uh, what's gonna call it in the machine? Same and if it, if it lost me, then I can make some space. Houston, I think we have found our destination. Pulling in. On my mark. Unauthorized materials detected. Either I've got this wrong or I'm missing a step. Sharp left. Let's raise up the sail a little more. We have completed the voyage so far. Let's go. Any objective, heading back to outpost, marking that on my map. Set the skull of destiny at a safe place. <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ! I am going to change my lantern covers on all my ships just because I just took some flame. Ow! You can't fucking do that to me, you fucking. There, my ship will remain blue. Literal blue. Holy crap. That just scared the bleeds out of me. Calling down I am something in the distance over there. Oh, it's just a skeleton. Two skeletons. Expression of concern. Fire? Senior fellow Dr. Frankel. Please allow me to send my heartfelt congratulations to you and your colleagues at Umbrella Europe for completing Nemesis, a truly remarkable achievement in the field of bioweapons research. Introducing a parasitic organism into a ty tyrant's brain to gain external control of it? How can I not marvel at such a wild idea? However, from a medical perspective, I must emphatically state my disapproval of the shift away from established Umbrella policy. By turning to the use of parasites, you are setting a dangerous precedent. Viruses can be kept in check. I believe an effective vaccine can be developed for any virus on Earth, with abundant funding and a bounty of samples, of course. Can you say the same for parasites, however? Doctors have tried in vain to develop a vaccine for, mal for malaria. Parasites like Plasmodium are far more genetically, mo gene genetically complex than the T-virus, and to think they will submit to, to, to control is utter folly. Perhaps in your country, consumers are willing to buy automobiles with no brakes. But here in America, they know better. Then again, I recall you have a degree in economics, so no doubt you've already devised a brilliant marketing strategy to win over the naysayers. I look forward to your talk at the forum in, forum in Berlin next month. In the meantime, I shall be exploring medical solutions to this hubristic problem you've foisted on us. Sincerely, Nathaniel Bard. So it's called the Nemesis. Okay, headed back to nearby outpost. Need to go northwest. 
uh, gonna turn my ship a little more. So raising sail. Raising anchor. Brilliant. I'm gonna have to turn a little bit once I reach that little area. An adjuvant sample. These are combined with antigens to increase immune system response. I am detecting some hard oceans. How much do you want to bet one of these things is going to break out from their containment? Um, hundred dollar bucks. <gasps> I, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Ah, <laughs> get my hundo. Wait. Fuck, I don't... I don't know which way the bet was going, whether I was giving it or whether you were. Okay, they're just giving my hundo and we'll call it even. <laughs> I need to go down my fucking post quickly, I just have to look at the Okay, giant oh, rock right ahead. Until I keep this Land ho! I think. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. We are going a different direction where we're not supposed to go. Darn you, rough wet water. You almost made me go to Shipwreck Bay. Yeah, you're back. Yeah, I got disconnected because my phone decided it was going to shut down the mobile version of Discord, and that's what it does to you when it does that. Oh. Jack Black is fat. Jack Black is back. That's a fact. All right, there we go. I found an outpost. Yay. Yippee! So usually before final bosses, Jack, they usually give you a fuck ton of ammo, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Cause uh, I just had to use all of my flame rounds, one of my acid rounds, and maybe four of my mag bullets. Well, there's a I, storm over there. I, Cause I just got ambushed by a bunch of hunters. Kinda love when that happens. It's a storm over there. I swear to god, there's always a storm over there. Yeah. Rule of advice, don't even drive in a storm. It's terrible. Oh. 
If I can park it, like, at a, at a good spot, I will be so happy. That is a strain on my eyeballs. No, uh, I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit. Ah! It's so pink. Ah, that's such a strain on my eyes. <laughs> it's so neon. Oh, no. Oh, now I need to check if there's a damage. Yep, there's a damage. Son of a bitch. Ooh, ah. Ouchies. <laughs> Ouchies. No more? Okay. Well, that was the most shittiest parking job I've ever done. Oh, I forgot the treasure. Sucks to be you, Nemesis. I still have the vaccine. Oh, wait, how do I get down? Oh. Alright, found it. I got me buried treasure. Do you take it? No. Hey, Jack. Yo, what's up? I can aim the camera down at her ass. Nice. <laughs> of course they would decide to implement that. <laughs> to go outside the tavern. Fire appears to be its weakness. Yeah, there you go. Bitch. That's all you give me? Wow. That was not worth it. Come on. Please explain for the love of God how the hell that hurt me. You really care about fucking animals, do you? What now? Yes. Oh no, I was talking to the. No. no. Yeah. Every time I talk to this woman, she always mentions an animal. I'm all, bitch, shut the fuck up. We eat those fuckers. Oh shit, maybe I should not be sailing off now. There's a storm headed its way. I didn't get shit. I just threw up over your fire. What are you gonna do about that? This facility is used to be is to be used for the dissolution and disposal of test subjects used in Nest 2 experiments. The potent solvents used will ensure that any biological matter within the vat, living or dead, is completely dissolved and ready for disposal. Please follow all safety protocols when using the disposal center. Always confirm that no employees are in the chamber before dis beginning the, the dissolution process. Always use the regulated amount of solvent, regardless of the volume or mass being disposed of. If a test subject reacts violently, do not halt the disposal process. Leave the chamber filled for at least 12 hours, then check for complete dissolution before draining. Something tells me this is how we get rid of the nemesis. Ah, uh, yes. 
Serving a frothing great take of grog. What in God's name is this place? Chugging it. Give me more. Give me more. drunk and hitting each other with Lenores. Oy vey. That's Jewish for holy shit. No. No it is not. But that's okay. <laughs> it was the night before Christmas and all the Jews were at the movies. Or eating Chinese food. Throwing up on people. Give me more. This is looking familiar. I'm drunk. What's over here? Nothing. Hey, Jack? It yeah, was popping. You know that feeling when you realize shit might actually be about to go down? Yeah. I think this is one of those rooms. Yeah. Oh, I That's fucking that. called it. I always wanted a hurdy girl. I have a copy of that game. A hurdy gurdy is a type of instrument, not a game. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I thought you were- I actually, I actually thought you had Sea of Thieves, but... Nikolai! I don't! The city needs that it's vaccine! It's a hurdy I could download Sea of Thieves, but, you know. Yeah, you could. I mean, if you would, we would I definitely go do some funny shit. Nikolai, you bastard. Now I know you can't put a price on life. Why don't you do this, son? <laughs> but I'm in this Are you able to see the stream? No, I'm not. So, let's make a deal! You go down there, battle the nemesis, and I'll record it all and sell the combat art. Put on a good show and... Last night I fell asleep during VC. Twice now. Agreed? Nice. Good! So basically, Nikolai wants me to fight the nemesis and he'll sell the combat data, and if I do well enough, he might give the vaccine back. Lamau. <laughs> what a bastard. Yeah. That sounds like one of those moments, you know? Ow! Why can't I fucking- Oh, there we go. Woohoo! Is that you? 
Carlos? You interrupted my aiming, you fuck. You're okay. Let me spot for you. Good idea. Ooh. First aid, wait, I got handgun ammo, first aid spray, shotgun shells. Oh, he's starting this up again. Oh, I know, okay, I think I know what's going to go on here. So, Nemesis is going to climb on one of these, um, tanks, and Carlos is going to tell me which one he's hiding behind to shoot at it. Watch it, you've got company! Yeah, probably. Tank 8. Number 8! How do you like them apples? You know, when he said rip that fucker apart, he didn't mean me. Alright. Time to rip this guy to pieces. I need bullets. Ooh, that was smoking. Ow. Probably reload to actually do. <clears throat> oh, I don't have any, any. I don't have any more room for that. Ow! Uh, hey, why if she chew on something like this? That didn't taste very good, now did it? I somehow miraculously didn't get knocked away by that.
bastard! Tell us. He's hiding behind take five. Take five. Somebody's not happy! Do you mind? I can't, be, I can't be fully reliant on the shotgun, that's just gonna get my sorry ass killed.
dodge successfully. Eat on that. Um, I think something funky's going on with his AI. Who's AI? The nemesis is AI. He's like kind of walking. Oh shit! Maybe that's part of his thing, where he like kind of walks at first, and then he like tries to go right at me. I'm not sure. I couldn't tell you. He's hiding behind Take Alright, fuckers, you decided to exist in the same time frame as me, and therefore you're all dying. I think I made him mad. Hi. You gotta be a man. You must be swift as so let's see, I have... Um, a hun I have 105 9 millimeters, uh, 3 explosive rounds, 6 mag ammo, and 20 shotgun ammo. I think I definitely got enough to take him out. Saying Jack was a business. It was. It was be a man, yeah, or I'll make a man out of you. I don't remember which one. It was. It's called, it was I'll make a man out of you. Coming. Yeah, it, it was it. one of those. Number one. I got this. Oh, Carlos, my man. Ew, it's an old bitch. on that.
Come on! <laughs> oh my god. Love it. Jill, is that you? Carlos? Okay, I'm done.
was trying to aim for number eight, but their fucking zombies were in the way. Guys, use it to climb up. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Now get on.
to get that vaccine back. Weapon spec sheet. Project Hell. Theram. Wait. Theromagnetic infantry use magnet. The next generation of Rogun. Or Finger. Oh! Finger! Chief developer nest to. Ooh. Sep for suppression of new bioweapons in case of outbreak. Extreme firepower provides a secondary benefit of completely obliterating the target, leaving no trace behind. This thing is totally rad. Tyrants out of line? Just give them the finger and. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. So, uh, so, this thing is called. Hang on. This thing is called the Ferromagnetic Infantry, Infantry Use Next Generation Railgun, or Finger for short. This thing is totally rad. Tyrants out of line? Just give him the finger and problem solved. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I do too. Packs of firepower we need. It would be even better if there was a way to control the output. Mobility may prove to be problematic in the field. Perhaps its platform could be redefined. It requires multiple power sources. Maybe difficult to see. You are just so needy. Requires multiple power sources, may be difficult to secure in practice. Could you consolidate to a single power source? Hmm. Hmm. Mayhaps they didn't have the proper funding for that yet. Maybe. Vaccine, you greedy son of a bitch. No, 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 no. You bring money. I like it. We shall make ours an ongoing arrangement. Now drop the gun. Oh. Put a price on life! <laughs> Good luck! Nikolai! Joe! Go after Nikolai! He's got the vaccine! And what about you? We're running out of time! I've got this! I know you do. Look, just so you know, this is the last fucking time! This is it, the final boss between me and this fucker. I believe in you. Alright, let me see how I... Take your time and make an example. Let's see, you can't kill Nemesis with conventional weapons now. Instead, head in the opposite direction from him to the silver terminal directly opposite it. Interact with the terminal and it'll open and reveal the finger. 
Oh, you mean this terminal? Ow. I just have to do Ow. Do you mind? Okay, just... Okay, I, I had to destroy all of them first. Alright, well even if I die, I at least know what I'm doing now. One power source remaining. I'd have time for two of these. Yep, and see how he's getting back up. Online. All power sources activated. Power you think up. I don't know how to fuck you up? Q on this. Oh, 
Oh, you know what would have been perfect? What? what? The mo if the moment I sneezed, he blew up. Good riddance. That would have been perfect, yeah. Nemesis down! Don't worry, folks, he's actually fucking dead this time. For now. Oh no, he's- he's- he's straight- wait, what are you- oh no. <laughs> oh, he, right, he comes back in six, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. As a different one, or as the same one? I believe it's technically a different one, but he looks exactly the same. Okay, so this one- this one here is dead. <laughs> this stuff literally burns through metal. That is insane. Time to heal up. Time to GTFO. So this guy went from a tyrant to that. Yeah. That's fucking metal. Umbrella to drop. Ten minutes until missile impact. Ah, the missile has launched. And that is my turn. Goodbye, Miss Valentine. Shame you didn't listen to me when you had the chance. Wait, I got him. Jack. Yeah. My shitty aim actually saved the day. Nice. That's cool, Kaylin. There's a price tag for everything. Nice one. Even letting the world burn. <laughs> Who are you working for? I'll tell you. If you get me out of here, I'll pay you whatever you want. You're a fool! If I die, you'll never find out the truth! I don't mind a little detective work. Jill, you all right? 
me over. So long, Marcy. I felt empty and cold as the heat from the blast washed over us. All this death wasn't caused by a monster-making virus. It was greed. Human greed. I decided then and there, the ashes of Raccoon City would be Umbrella's ashes too. I would end them, once and for all. And there we have it, folks. There we have, at last, the end of Resident Evil 3. Nice. I'm actually going to probably divert away for a little while back to uh, Breath of the Wild, which if I started uploading that, you, you would never be able to tell I actually diverted away from the game at all, but <sighs> Resident Evil 4 would be next, but honestly debating whether I should wait until it's on sale or just play the original, which the remake fixed a lot of problems the original had, so... Uh, actually, no, no, um... I think Revelations is actually next, because that's between 3 and 4. Revelations 2 is between 4 and 5, I think. So... Yeah. That's gonna be really interesting. Um... 2? Resident Evil 2 was very good. Resident Evil 3, the only complaint I really have is the fact that they took out the ability to defend myself with a combat knife and they decided, hey, you know what would be great? If we took that out and just reduced the amount of damage you took from a zombie bite instead of preventing the zombie bite at all. So, uh... I... It felt a little unfair to me, especially if I got double teamed by two zombies when I could have jabbed a knife into one of them. But, other than that, very solid and honestly, Nikolai, very hateable, as he was supposed to be. He didn't feel too out of character. He felt very... What's the word? He felt very in line with his personality, which, you know, typically greedy, absolutely cactus-like because he's that much of a prick. And... <laughs> Honestly, kind of nice and seeing someone not torn to shred by zombies. No, he was slowly going to die from his wounds, and then he died from a missile strike as he watched the world burn around him. Yeah, that's, that's what happens when you. That's what happens when you succumb to greed. Yep. Also, um. I, I initially was thinking, why don't I just emulate the remake of 4? But then I remembered the policy I follow. I typically remake games that- or not really- not remake- I typically emulate games that are not really given two shits about- about companies, and of course, I have the means to get the game if I just wait long enough. Older games, like the original Resident Evil 4, also on the PlayStation Store, but nobody really cares about the console that came out on it nowadays because of the newer generation one. So, still, I may just wait I to see if it eventually comes out on sale. I say that when it comes to emulating, emulate games that you've already bought before or Nintendo games because emulating Nintendo games is always morally correct. It's also really easy to do. Yeah, it's <laughs> hilariously easy to do. Except when it so comes to the ones that they take off of the eShop before <laughs> shorts. I had to jump yeah. through so many hoops to get that one to work. Oh, for those who didn't, didn't know, I actually got an emulation of Four Swords Anniversary Edition working, so expect that sometime down the line. That's gonna be fun. Right. And for those not in the know, um, the original Four Swords it was- there was never any single-player campaign. The Anniversary Edition introduced a single-player campaign. Also, um, I said before when I started- when I started this, I believe, that 
I was going to give um, Resident Evil 5 and 6 a go, and I, and I still am. Every game, every series at some point eventually has that one game that kind of seems to stray away for a bit from the formula. And I know that 5 and 6 are probably somewhere in there, but at this point, I think I would take having infinite bullets over having shitty aim and just dealing with the consequences of me having shitty aim. Yeah. And, and besides, the first four the first four games deliver in spades of when it comes to tone and setting. It wouldn't kill me to stray away from that a bit if the games do that. I mean, I got my fill. So might as well see what happens when it's most it's more actiony. Besides, the Resident Evil movies are horror and actiony, but it's a bit more actiony, so what do I got to complain about? <laughs> oh, we're also so, uh, I, I mentioned before that yes, I was I am wa currently watching the uh, Resident Evil movies and perhaps the episodic spin-offs that they made. Oh, the Netflix one? Yeah. I know next to nothing about it, and I had no idea that it existed, but I'm hoping that it's good. There's actually two of them. Um, Resident Evil Infinite, and... What was the other one? Um... Uh... I forget. So I, I feel like Resident Evil 3 was kind of loosely based on the movie Resident Evil 2. Of course, you wouldn't know because you haven't seen the Resident Evil movies yet. But they are on Netflix, so, uh, you know, not all of them are, but most of them. Four of them. Also, uh, Jack, I feel you would absolutely adore Alice. Well, I've seen- I, my mom had, like, all of the movies. I've seen, like, I believe at least one of them. Oh. Was it the first one? Probably. Oh, son of a bitch. Can I heal in the Coliseum? I can't. Would, would it be so funny if this game pulled the near automata and just like, if you did something really fucking stupid, you just have the credits zooming by on screen? <laughs> I love the fact that people were like, you know what? Let's make it so you can blow yourself up. People are gonna want to do that. Oh no, that is like a thing you can do in general. No, it's the fact that you can do it in like the main hubbish area. For like 2B and 9S, and then it gives you an ending because you completely destroyed the bunker. Oh. It's hilarious, actually. Not the point. Um. Hmm. I set a personal best in standard. How nice. Doesn't change the fact I got a fucking C. Well, oh, hey, look at that. You got a C. C for... Better than an F. Yeah, C for crappy. Just like my aim. Did we get anything fancy? We did. I need to make up a grinding noise for something. Ooh. The shop has been unlocked. You can now purchase items from the shop, which is accessible via the main menu. Points used to unlock items can be earned by completing in-game challenges.
Dude, look at all the fucking points I have. A manual of Star's combat knowledge edited by Chris Redfield. While held, physical feats such as perfect dodge become easier to perform. Carry more to increase the effect. <laughs> Look at that. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna get me a hot dogger. As its name implies, this umbrella developed anti bioweapon knife is used by those who like to show off. This blade can be superheated, causing the target to burst into flames. So I'm basically carrying a thousand degree knife. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> oh, I'm so fucking buying that. Yes. Fifteen shot capacity nine millimeter. It's been customized according to Jill's personal specifications. Excellent across the board with exceptional accuracy and firepower. Wait, why? Why is this here? Don't. Wait, I can buy the lockpick or bolt cutter. Didn't I eventually throw those away when I didn't need them and they only appeared when I needed them? Or does this just mean I can use them earlier? I don't know. Don't ask me. Oh my god, she looks like Bayonetta. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about um, A2. I've decided to go play around on my first save again on Nier Automata. And I have hair dyes and stuff for the characters. Well, it's for A2 and not uh, 2B only, actually. 
But um, I found like a cosmetic, which is like a pair of glasses, right? Mm -hmm. Black glasses. I put them on her, and then I put dyed her hair black. And after looking at her, she looks like fucking Bayonetta in Bayonetta Three. That's enough near for me. Oh, for fucks. Wow. They want me... So they wanted me to unlock a record by defeating two uh, 2,000 enemies. I would have to play through this game f practically four or five times. That's just me and you know. I was just getting on the browser so I could actually look at what's going on. Now that I'm dead. <sighs> Playing my game. The mus the background noise and music makes is really unsettling.
I decided to come back for a little, just for a little minute. Look at this fucking thing. It's beautiful. I'm gonna set some zombies <laughs> on fire. Degree knife. Oh wait, <laughs> that's a fucking pickaxe and Fortnite. <laughs> Light them up. That is straight up a pickaxe in Fortnite, which I have, mind you, because I bought the Resident Evil pack. <laughs> I had the fucking V-Bucks. I was like, you know what? I kind of want to run around as Joe Valentine. And I bought that knife as well. <laughs> you got a little something on your shoulder, buddy. Here. Now. <laughs> Who is that the game? That game? <laughs> bad, 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 bad. Both tired and not tired. So this was a really stupid idea. <laughs> I am too, to be honest. Tired and not tired. Oh, look, I stabbed you in your. The only reason I'm tired but not tired is because I legitimately slept for five hours. <laughs> um, well, okay, well, this one died because I stabbed her in the vajayjay. Day. Oh, not the. <laughs> Got the vagina. Hmm. I wonder how strong this gun is. Holy shit. <laughs> 